What about the cure for a lot of diseases? We've been uh, looking for a lot of things to be cured. And, you know, where the hell are the cures? Now, I'm never going to be able to tell you that these things can be cured because clearly they can. Why do I say that? Because we live in an infinite universe. And, um, you know, if something can be screwed up, then you can certainly take it to a mechanic and get it fixed. So all of these so-called genetic diseases, how can you fix them? Well, genuflecting on it, I don't know. Can they be fixed? Yes. I just know. How do I know? Because it has to be fixable. Someone's laughing and saying, just because you say it can be fixed doesn't mean it can be fixed. Maybe it's a complete write-off or something. Yes, maybe it's true. In the end, I can't tell you any cures for anything because Jen reflecting on it all, I've come to the conclusion that I don't know anything. I'm pretty much the stupidest person I ever met. In fact, I'm so stupid, I'm going to go back to kindergarten because I think I need an upgrade because whatever they're teaching people these days, I'm not sure it's the same as what they taught me in kindergarten. That was to be friends with everyone because these days, it seems like everyone is cold and clammy and um, snooty and um, that's what all I want to say. Uh, anything else? Any other questions? I'm listening. Uh, no, no one wants to ask me any more questions except how I got to be so dumb. Well, I got to be dumb by... I volunteered. You know, not everyone can be smart. and Someone had to volunteer to be dumb so, you know, the smart people could appear smart. Mr. Smarmy... Um, arrived last week, and um, he settled in. He's the, um, well, uh, I don't know if he's going to stay. Generally, these ones that come, they have bright ideas about changing everything. Well, they get here, and after a while, they find that it's very tedious. And the reason things are the way they are is most likely to keep the tedium to a maximum. Um, Oh, hypochondriacs. Do you know any hypochondriacs? Those are people that have got like 16 bottles of different prescriptions. Um, you must know somebody who's got, you don't know anybody who's got 16 bottles of different prescriptions. If you do, that's what you call them, a hypochondriac. Why do they get... Oh, it's because the doctors keep prescribing things. Why? Because um, primarily doctors don't know shit. And, um, you know... You don't believe me? They go to school all those years, you think they should know something? No. They don't know shit. And, uh, you know, genu generally what they do is they listen to the drug rep who comes around twice a week with donuts, and uh, the drug rep tells them what to prescribe. And... Um, Lawyers, I can talk about lawyers. I never met a lawyer. Why? Because everyone that pretended to be a lawyer lost my case. True, true that. <sighs> dentists, um, I'm still upset about dentists. I wish my parents had never taken me to the dentist when I was young because all they did is they drilled holes in my perfectly good teeth and then they dropped all kinds of mercury amalgam into them. I think my teeth were fine. I'm sure that every dentist is just a... Well, there was one dentist that, you know, fixed a tooth that another dentist had screwed up. So I'll give him credit for fixing it. But generally speaking, if I was young, if you're not going to be vaccinating your children, don't take them to the goddamn dentist. And I was going to say the F word because my feelings toward these dentists that drilled me, um, I'd like to get, line them all up 
and band them over a bench and kick them all in the ass definitely don't feel very much goodwill towards dentists. So, you know, is there anyone on the planet that I like? Um, it's going to take me about 10 years to come up with a name of somebody who's marginally make it 25 years 25 years come back and i'm going to give you a name of someone who um i'm not going to tell you i like them or i love them but somebody who might have got my respect for 10 minutes or so one time and that person i'm going to um bequeath all my earthly assets when I finally kick the bucket and uh, all the rest of you can go to hell.